Hello everyone, Peter here. Today I'm reviewing the Kavant Clubmax 1800 with Saturn 1Bs. Kavant sent me the system to try out and give an honest and unbiased opinion of what I think of the system. The Kavant 1800 is suitable for beam shows in small venues indoors, or it's mostly suitable actually for indoor laser graphics and laser graphics outdoors at night. I will detail later a bit why. The projector came in the optional heavy duty flight case that is both sturdy and lightweight. Included in the case is an emergency stop, an ILDA cable, an XLR interlock bypass, and a safety cleat, plus a genuine Nutric Powercon cable. My first impressions of the enclosure is that it has a very sleek and compact case design. I was a little bit on the edge about the color depth of diode green compared to DPSS green, which is what I'm mostly used to. However, when I tried out the system, my opinion got quickly changed. Not only do you have better modulation with a diode-based system, but you also don't have the ambient temperature dependency that the DPSS system has. Whereas when it's night, you could have lower power out of your green DPSS than during a warm day, while in, in, the DPS, in a diode system, you do not have this. The projector is completely silent when turned on, but I did notice the funny smell when you turn on the projector. This is because of a moisture filter that's built inside the Cavant Club Max. Little details like an Allen key in the projector case was also a nice touch. After using this projector for over a month now, I had no problems with heat or any problems related to the projector drifting out of tune or messing up. The Saturn's produce an impressive 30 kpps at a near full angle, and the possibility of 60 kpps and even 90 kpps is very impressive, and the best you can get in Galvo scanning on the market today. The cost of the Saturn's is pretty steep on lower powered Cavant projectors. However, this will outweigh itself because it produces very little to no heat, which means it will probably last you many, many years to come. The color timing of this projector is spot on, and so is the beam overlap, making for very even and nice faded lines. The divergence is low to keep graphics nice and crisp at longer distances. The only slight downside of the projector is that if you want to change the tunings, which you won't often end up doing, you have to open up the projector case, and I'd love to see Kavan break out the 3.5mm connector of the Saturn 1B to the back. I'd also love to see some spare case screws included since there is always the possibility that you might end up losing a screw or two after opening it up. I've also noticed that the scan fill is a little bit aggressive, but this is an issue that can easily be resolved. So in conclusion, would I recommend this projector? Yes I would. You have the option to go for one of the most complex Galvo systems on the market today. You can scan extremely large 30 kbps projections, so you can do those very short distances, but you can also go for 60 kbps and 90 kbps to do those very complex logos your client might want. Second, this projector is so quiet, like right now it's actually on, and my laptop is louder than that system. This is great when you're in an office with more people, or you're just wanting to take it easy and work on some graphics, or maybe work on your beam show without having the constant noise of a fan just constantly going and blaring in your ear. So I hope you like my review. If you have any questions, please let me know and I'll try to answer them the best I can.